Hello there, my name is Marcos Montenegro and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. And to keep talking about sharing uh, workflows and schedules and that things in the gallery, now in the in that page as user, we have the options to collections, right? The collections is like folders you have inside of the, the gallery. You can place workflows and schedules there and manage what users have permission to see that workflows. Even if the that uh, users you want to share the workflows is not uh, not placed on your subscription, so you can have the possibility to share workflows with uh, with people outside of your subscription using the collections. To create a new collections, the user uh, who wants to create the collection needs to have that permission set in the user permissions. So. If you don't know how to do that, please take a look at our video here in the channel uh, about user roles and permissions. But uh, once the user already have that permission to create new collections, the only thing he need to do is in that collections page as user, he will go here in the top and you press that button, add new collection. Once he do that, we will pop up that window to you. Uh, here we'll have a one time stamp, but, it, but it's the place where you uh, will set the name. So let's, uh, let's say you have a, a group of developers and each developer is working in different projects and you want to share with them just the workflows tied to specific projects. That way you can manage the access for each one. So what you can do here is to create one collection for project. So that way here I can, let's say, create the collection project one. And I will create that, I will click on that button add. Once you do that, you're gonna see one new collection here because in that page, you're gonna see all the collections you have permissions to see. And clicking here in the name of the collection, you're gonna enter on that collection to see what exists there. That way, what you can see here is a empty collection because I didn't add anything yet, but I can add here a, a new workflow from my private studio. So I can click here and select that one and click add. That way, now our collection have one workflow already inside. That workflow actually is placed on my subscription, but here is like a shortcut and also a way to share uh, to, the, to the other users, like I said. But if you remove that workflow from here, that will not remove from the gallery itself, it will just remove from the collection. But the original one will still be on your original subscription. Okay, but for now, we just added that workflow but it didn't add anyone uh, to your collection to share that. So how you do that? You can do, go here in the AD users. That's because uh, my gallery is using the AD. But you have that user option here. And here that page, you're gonna see all the users with the permission to, to see that workflows uh, in your collection. Like you can see here, I'm not inside but that's why I'm the owner. As owner, I don't need to be here. As owner, I'm already one of the users allowed to access that and have all the permissions as admin for that collection. If you want to add anyone to that collection as well, you can click in the add user. Here you select what user you want to share that. You also can have one expiration date for that users don't be allowed to access that after a specific date. And you have all the permissions you can give to the user. 
the first one here is the admin if you set that as yes the user will be added to your collection with all the permissions you have so you'll be added as admin to that collection the other things you can add here if you don't add that user as admin will be if he'll be able to add or remove or update assets that means he'll be able uh, to add workflows schedules and sites or update them anyway you give that permission and also here in the bottom you have the permission to that person also be allowed to add or remove users from the collection okay so with that window you're gonna add all the permissions that users can have on your collection now if you look that collections page as creator in the gallery you're gonna see here all the the collections because for the creator uh, as creator you don't need to have permission to to be in the collections to can see the collection itself in the admin page so i can see every collection here but i will go in that uh, that one i created with you guys right now here you're gonna see the a, a similar page as we saw as user but here you're gonna see we don't have the ability to add any workflow okay here you just can manage the users and uh, that permissions but not the workflows itself but you're gonna see that at uh, that different button here the change owner so that way you can uh, if so let me say you have one collection created by someone who already left the company but the the collection is, is still in his name and you want to change that you can go here as creator and change the owner that way the owner of that uh, collection can be another one who maybe took the the role of that that person who already left that way uh, you can keep that uh, management being alive and don't need to be always tied to someone already someone already uh, left the company now to conclude let's go back to the collections page as user here in that page you're gonna see all the collections you have permission but you're gonna see here at the right side in the final that actions column if you use uh, the admin of the collection you're gonna see that trash icon here and if you're not the admin you're gonna see that block icon if you is the admin with that uh, trash icon you can just remove that collection can delete that collection but don't worry if you delete that collection will not delete the workflows inside you just delete the collection the the original workflows will be in the original subscriptions not here right so you can delete without any concerns and if you is not the the admin of that collection with that block uh, that blocky icon here you'll be able to relinquish that uh, that collection that way you just will revoke your access to that uh, collection but the collection will still be there you just don't will have uh, any more permissions to see so you keep all you keep everyone there just you will left that collection if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thanks for watching!